Hi everyone. In today's video I'm going to show you how to do some photo editing using pixeldatabase.net which is a free online text-based image editor. I hope this person Paloma Garcia doesn't mind but I really like this photo right here so I'm going to copy this image. I'm going to open up paint.net which is my graphics program of choice because it's free and it's really cool. Next I'm going to click image crop to selection so I get it down to just that image and now I'm going to save it and I'm just going to call this red tree scene or something like that okay now I'm going to minimize paint.net and go to pixeldatabase.net which is my website okay I'm going to select that image alright now I'm going to turn the color picker on once I click in here, you'll notice the total for the white. Most of that's in the oh, 550, 600, some a little higher, six, almost up to 7. But in the tree, it's quite a bit less. Most of this, the total here is most of this is in the 400s or lower. So what I'm going to do is click at the Y value. If you see right there, the Y value is 333. So I'll just say adjust. Kind of types that in for me. And I'm going to say set adjust all, which means red, green, and blue channels. And I'm going to say minus 230. Next, I'm going to type the where. The word where is just for the where clause. And then I'm going to say y less than 334. Total less, I mean, excuse me, total greater than 500 and hit apply. Okay, so that kind of made the background dark, but it left the tree and left all this alone. So that was just all I wanted to show. I'm going to save this picture so that I can show the person, see if they like that edit, and show them I made their, a video with their photo without the permission and see if they're all mad at me. We'll just call this Red Tree Scene Dark Background. I am going to open up another image which is a stock photo that I purchased from depositphotos.com which I have no affiliation with them but I prefer them they're my favorite stock photo site I buy a hundred images at a time for a hundred dollars so they even have sales for 80 sometimes so no plug I have no promotion of them I'm just I like their site compared to Shutterstock I highly recommend deposit photos and never go to shutterstock.com there in rent this photo what I want to do let me save this query because I don't want to I have the memory of a squirrel all right I'm gonna just paste this in but I will turn the color picker on I've got already got it on kind of show you um, this image is definitely quite a bit darker but I'm trying to show you some of the the min max difference like in this case the 90 is be the max and zero is the min so the min max difference is 90 but do we want to do everything that's lower than 25 but we want to if you look at the kind of the bright spots here that's gonna have a quite a bit of higher anything bright that's not like all white like that's almost all white and that's gonna be that's only got a min max difference of two so min max difference doesn't mean brightness but it means kind of I guess it'd be contrast it'd be a way to to say that like that one will get lowered a little bit like some of this and that um, will actually not get updated which is good so that I want to kind of leave some of the kind of uh, I guess it's auxiliary lighting or whatever you want to okay so I'm gonna just execute that query let me turn the color picker off so you can see it a little better I did this query before I was recording and I, I kind of like the way it kind of gives you an effect on the water where it kind of starts off right here let me show you the reset and I'll do it one more time it's right in here okay so that is all I wanted to show for this photo and now I'm going to go ahead and do one more and this the next one will kind of be not prepared so you're going to just watch how I do it so I'll just go to Twitter and hopefully I can find some another unwilling person that doesn't mind me using their photo but the way I look at it is if they posted it on social media they probably want somebody to see it I kind of like that bird um, not really sure oh I like this photo here alright I am going to copy this image Okay, now I'm going to open up this photo in pixeldatabase.net. I played around for this for a little bit while I had the camera off, and I found something that I think is kind of neat. Tell me what you think. I think that looks kind of neat. It you know, kind of highlights part of the road in the center, but it still left all this, and I'll kind of just explain briefly how this is done. 
if you click on the color picker here, the blue-red difference is just the blue minus the red, and most of this is going to be more blue than red, but as you get over here in the kind of red areas, there's almost not any blue. You know, leave a little more, or you could uh, leave a little less by making this number a little lower. I'll go to... So I noticed when I did that, it looks like he's wearing a mask. I'm going to go ahead and reset that back because I don't like that. I'm going to put that back to 50. Or 55 is fine, probably. I like the way that looks. But I can even make this a little darker if I wanted to. All the way dark, but that's a little much. So we'll probably go back to about, see what that looks like. So that is some of the photo editing I wanted to show. It's, it's a new program. Let me know what you think of it. There's some features I'm going to add to it. I, I definitely have some plans for a little more. Just I wanted to get it out and let people start playing with it and see if they like it. And Thanks for watching and have a great day.